previously on Balls. Hey, Vaynan, how's it? Darren and the Balls team, how's it going? Ah, <laughs> uh, Darren, no, right to you. <laughs> Why do you laugh like that? So you're about uh, to get... It's, 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 uh, what do you call it? The Shinebe Achter. Yeah, man. Yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing to be suspicious about whatsoever, man. At last, and we. Suspicious? No, I'm just. Oh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's awesome. You must, you must be absolutely proud as punch. Or, uh, and, and I didn't realize that he was actually even uh, in line to play for France. But Antony uh, being put in the French squad. Yeah, no, it's amazing. No, I mean, he's. I mean, uh, I've been following his rugby, and he's been playing very, very well. He's been. I mean, last two years he played for um, for French Barbarians, you know, in four test matches against Japan and Argentina, and so I mean they 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 were rating him, and um, you know, I mean, but you know he's, he's getting citizenship now, and I, I just thought you know uh, you know it'll be difficult to, to select a foreigner, although he's becoming a French citizen now already, you know. Yeah. Oh, but, um, you know, so I mean, it's awesome news. I mean, I just I'm, I'm overawed. I mean, I don't know what to say. Well, I don't know if we've ever had a Springbok captain who's uh, who's one of his siblings or his children have actually played for another country. I don't know if that's ever happened or any other country for that matter where you've had a, a captain of, a, of one country and then their their sons played for a, a different country. That might be a world first. Yeah, no, I, who knows? But anyway, I, I'm just, you know, Darren, I'm just very pleased for him. You know, uh, when he left back his year, I mean, uh, the, blue, blue, the Blue Bulls stopped his contract and he was... Not happy, and he, but then he played for tax and he got his degree, and then he wanted to leave. And uh, he first of all he wanted he had an uh, agent who wanted to send him to Italy, and I I just said to him, listen, um, does he want to go play serious rugby or he just want to go for a holiday? So he said serious rugby, and I said then you got to go to France. And, uh, and he arrived. What's nice for me arrived there, nothing. He had nothing. He had only uh, only well he actually. He still had to do his one subject for his degree. He had to go to yeah. the, the South African Embassy in Paris and uh, got that. And then uh, he had no contract. He had no money at bugger all. You know, so he started from scratch. And you know, for me, you know, he, his own man. He did it himself, and I'm, I'm very proud. Yeah, yes, must be a proud dad. And you know, I mean, obviously, if a guy's doing that well and, and he's showing that kind of form, good enough to go and uh, be selected for for one of the top rugby sides yeah. in the world was there a discussion where it's like look maybe we should start looking back at South Africa and see if uh, you're going to be picked up by a franchise here and, and maybe you know try and get into that Springbok setup or I mean was that was that a discussion that was had between you guys no I, I, well I mean it was mentioned in uh, interviews with him in France but uh, you know I mean we discussed it but I mean there was no way he said you know, uh, he doesn't want to come back. He's very happy in France. They gave him opportunities that, uh, that South Africa and the Bulls didn't give him. Mm. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, and he took his chances. He went there with nothing. As I said, he started with no name, although he played the uh, Bulls on a 20 and his on a 19, and that's just it. Yeah. You know, so, but uh, there was no way, not, he didn't even consider coming back because he said he's happy and he's happy with the environment, happy with the lifestyle, and also, uh, you know, the people, you know, so, uh, mm. and, and he learned that it's a new, new language, new culture and things like that. And he, he was very happy. I mean, he's very happy. So he didn't even think about coming back. And I don't know, I don't think anybody, him, but even though if somebody, uh, he wasn't interested. Yeah. Well, there we go. And I mean, that's uh, fair enough. And, and kudos to him. You know, he, he set his sights and goals and something. He went and he's got it now. So is he, is he in the squad or is he actually going to be in the starting lineup for the next game? <laughs> Yeah, no, thanks, uh, thanks, Darren. I appreciate it. Man. Is he is he in the squad or is he actually gonna is gonna be uh, starting in in their next uh, Six no, Nations I game? I don't know. Uh, he, no, he's definitely in the squad. So uh, if he's going to start, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but anyway, he's in the squad. So uh, mm, fantastic. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, so are you booking tickets to France? Well, they're playing at Twickenham. So oh, are you booking tickets to England? I'm, I'm definitely going. I'm Fantastic. Going. Oh, man, that's nice. awesome stuff. Oh, well, that's, yeah. uh, that's, we're really chuffed for you. We're chuffed for Antonio as well and, and, and the whole family. Congratulations, Vainant. And uh, just nice to see the, that, uh, the, the, the talented rugby genes are still flowing well in the Clarsen family. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Dad. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Thank and, you so and much. And how are you doing, Vainant? Otherwise, what are, you, what are you up to these days? No, I'm still here at uh, Taki. I'm okay. the president of the rugby club. I'm standing here under the trees, uh, playing Ikees and all uh, all my mates here. And 
But then I said, yeah, I'm still involved in, I'm still in Pretoria. I was, you know, but I've still got a little architecture practice. So, yeah, I, awesome I keep, stuff. I keep going. Fantastic. Well, it's lucky to chat you, and thanks for uh, giving us your time at short notice this afternoon, yeah. and congratulations once again. That. Only the best. Okay, keep Cheers, man. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ben on class and former box skipper. This is Ball's Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate, and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Balls.co.za.